are we are sailing in October in Canada let's see what we can find yard sale was a success we got something let me show you I got it in the back of the van oh my god I got a snow blower has the drum in the front vintage Toro let me get it out here it is old Toro snow blower runs great 832 so probably 8 horsepower and 32 inches wide it's a big one yard sale find I'm gonna be keeping this one I paid 50 bucks for this machine let's get it going start the run one pull and it's gonna probably start there we go A few moments later. What is good, YouTube? I just did a Facebook Marketplace pickup and I got some stuff here. I have two boxes of vintage items. I paid five bucks a box. I will take it downstairs and show you in the studio what's in those boxes. Let's look at it together. shipping out today we have five items so we got the gi joe vintage toy from the 1980s this sold uh for 80 dollars with free shipping then we have four cassette tapes uh they sold for 30 bucks and we got the pouch nails pouch for advertising of a lumber store this sold for 20 dollars then we have the slr camera made in eastern germany I got this camera at the, at the antique market for 35 and this sold for $100 with free shipping, so 80 bucks. And then we have the wrench, um, antique wrench for a Ford Model T. Uh, this sold for 20 bucks, 20 bucks for the wrench. So there we go, five items. So yes, yeah, so I got the snow blower. It's a vintage one. I think it's from 1978 or 1979. So that's why it was only 50 bucks. But it's a good, good machine. I'm gonna be using that. So that was a good buy. And on the same garage sale, I also got this owl. It's a plastic. It's a big one, but has markings on the bottom. Let me turn the lights on. Actually, there we go. Markings on the bottom made in the USA and the name is Dalen Dalen missing the plug but that's okay it was three bucks these owls go for a, around 35 bucks online I see them so it's a, it's a 1990 vintage item nice garden decoration plastic owl I just learned about this owl today I have, I have no idea but that was garage sale snow blower and owl and Facebook marketplace there was a guy posting some old antique bottles in the box he said five bucks a box you can have five bucks a box so he maybe had like four boxes and I got two out of the, the four boxes uh, I didn't look inside like exactly what's in there I just glanced over looked good so this is box number one I just gonna set it down here and I just gonna be pulling things out of it one by one so we're gonna discover together what's in the five dollar box number one and here we have a sprayer sprayer universal universal sprayer this is a vintage item made in the usa and these sprayers sell for 25 bucks around 25 bucks so here we go pays for two boxes already what else is in there lots of bottles coca-cola coke coca-cola i don't know much about this stuff uh, i will check it out people collect coca-cola it's a bottle number one coca-cola another coke bottle another coke bottle 
It could be a buck each. I can sell him. No problem. Even uh, or more probably. Another Coke bottle. This one heavier. Heavier glass. Nice one. I like that one. Another heavy glass one. Coke bottle. That's number four. And five. Coke bottle. And then the five of those. And then we have two more. But these have barcodes. So I'm probably going to recycle these guys. Five of the older Coke bottles. Five bucks. Bag each. Then we have a Pepsi. Pepsi is good. Pepsi, Pepsi bottle. And a Wishing Well bottle. This is like $10. This bottle alone. Wishing Well. What the hell is in there? Muse, 10 cents for a returnable in the beer store. Muse. Oh, this is pretty neat. There's. Whoa. I think they can check it out. It's like a knife. Maybe you put it on your ring and you're a Wolverine. That's crazy. Has some writing on it. Handy. I can just read handy something. Handy twine. Number nine. Interesting. And then we have uh, some folk art, but this is some chickens. Metal hanger, but it has a sticker made in China. So I'm uh, probably gonna donate this. Donation, and then we have uh, some hardware, old hardware, another, oh, some kind of cutter, press down and you cut, vintage, old, antique book item, couple bucks, there's a brass water vessel, old brass, made in England, made in England, couple bucks in the booth no problem just items for the booth there is another one of those finger cutters so these are interesting I have to take them out and some and, uh, some handle some hardware handle from something maybe I can get some more. And this, is, this is a neat piece I didn't even see it there look at that it's cast iron is that I think it's a corker it's a wine corking I think has a nice solid cast iron handle, cast iron, wooden base. It says TF. TF, can you see that? TF. Interesting piece, 20 bucks in the booth, easy. And that's it, one more hardware piece. That's box number one. Box number one is empty. So nice, that was at least sprayer. This stuff, 50 bucks in there. 50 dollar box for five bucks. All items for the booth. Then we have box number two. I think box number one was a little better. Box number two. But there are some cool things here. Yeah, okay, that's a good piece right here. Uh, check it out. So it has this handle. And it's just like this. It's all metal. So this is a tobacco roller. It makes cigarettes. You put the tobacco there and take the paper and you just and it goes. And these things sell for forty dollars actually online. Forty fifty bucks just for this item. That was a good, good box already. And the box in the box. We have another box. Old box. Has some kind of damage here. Nice uh, wooden handle, empty, clean. At uh, the top here, the piece, the art piece, the picture is like a piece of paper glued on, like a postcard almost glued on and cut out. So somebody made this. Oh, there's some writing here, 98 cents uh, in pen. So a $5 box easy on the booth. Another booth item. Talking the booth from Facebook. This is neat. Uh, thimble collection and look at the cool thimble stand and it has a drawer different thimbles and it's dated 1978 1979 the wild rose alberta 
There is a grandmother one. It's a cool one for Christmas, grandmother symbol. Check it out. Those three here, Oriental, like Japanese. They have this cool Asian antique feel and Canadian ones. I'm probably going to sell the whole shelf, $15 in the booth, $15. Nice. Then we have something newer, a lamp. Can clamp on so that I can I can use this somewhere. Light free lamp for me. Another lamp. This is like a reading lamp, brass library lamp. Twenty bucks. Nice brass handle here. And the brass all brass hardware here. Bottom nicely all intact. I will test it if it works. Maybe needs a new bulb. 20 bucks in the booth, easy. Oh, oh, we can make some money on the $5 boxes. And then mother make a house at home. That's a little pillow. All antique booth items. Perfect. Filter Master, made in West Germany. Filter Master, made in West Germany. I think this is also opens up. Close this tobacco. This is for making cigarettes. This might be 20 bucks or more. That goes on the line. Tobacco pieces go online. What? I just dropped it. Oh, you got here. I saw that. That was in the box. Made in Germany. It says on it. Nice lantern lamp. Glass says made in Canada. And. Uh, Lamp says made in Germany, but the top is all gone. I don't think that's supposed to be like that, and they're missing the handle. But this could be easy, easy ten dollar piece in the antique book. It will go quick. People just buy it for just for the Canadian glass. Ten dollars. Oh, there is the top. The top from the lantern. Oh, now so that's more money now. Made in Germany, Monarch. I don't know, 20 bucks with the top. <laughs> 20 bucks. Oh, that's cool. Check it out, the box. I didn't see that before. It's in there. Wow. Okay, I think. What? Home metal box and has this kind of cloth. Closes, opens. As it is. I think this is something for cigarettes too, maybe. I have to check it out. Might be for cigarettes, and there is an old radio. Score in the pouch, vintage radio. Let's open the pouch. Here it is, a 10 transistor radio, but it's missing some. This doesn't look too good. Uh, but I think it might be decoration piece five. One more thing in the box there. Oh, and one more thimble came out for the shelf. I also Japanese one thimble thimble. And we have a and we have this masher, potato cutter, French fries maker. Boom. And then has two different sizes, two different crates. We got about 150 bucks from the two boxes for five dollars a box. That was a good buy. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, remember to subscribe to the channel. Check this out.